Hi guys, Pete here, N6QW, and as I promised on the blog, we're going to uh, cover a few items here uh, today, but uh, first of I'm going to uh, take a little uh, uh, detour here by shutting off the lights so you can see what's going on. Uh, there's the SR SDR display with a back black background. There's a station at 7198, which you can see there. And I wanted to cover <clears throat> what I've got on the board here. I essentially have uh, two SDR setups. One of them uses the ticker board and the uh, Omnia. This one has the Raspberry Pi right here. This is a Pi 3. And uh, there's the StarTech sound card right there. And I'm using my uh, V63NG, which was the Softrock V63 that uh, was actually reconverted to surface mount by a, by a ham who sold these boards out of Canada. The, um, there's, look at that station, pretty strong. Band has kind of opened up. Okay, so um, the interesting part about the V63 is it used plug-in circuit modules. This is a, uh, the uh, RF stage. And this is the receiver bandpass filter. What's in there now is 40, what's called the 40 module, but it'll actually do 80, 60, and 40. And um, the uh, I have other modules that, that essentially cover all the hand bands. This is 20 meters, which I think also covers 30 and 17. And then I've got a 15 meter module, but right now the 40's in there. And uh, our, our design essentially is going to use the Raspberry Pi 3 the StarTech sound card, and this right here was a board sold by Tony Parks to enable you to control the SI570, which was located on the uh, either the NG board or the standard V63 Softrock. Now, this has an ATTINY45 uh, microcontroller. Now, the SDR kits that we're recommending that you purchase has the controller on it but also has the SI570 so it's all integral so essentially you're going to provide what's going to come out of that board the SDR kits board is the two quadrature LO signals at the operating frequency so they'll be be fed into the board itself now the board will have essentially the uh, bandpass filter the hybrid splitter combiner and we'll have uh, the modem transformers, the two ADE1 detectors. And uh, I'm going to use a, a modified board that I had built previously, and I'm going to show that to you. This board had the uh, SI570, um, had the SI5351 on it that supplied the signal, and I'm going to show you that board here, supplied the signal to the 74AC74. So essentially, uh, it was a, a, a splitter, it was a board that d used uh, dual flip-flop, dual flip-flop, the 74AC74, which took the LO signal from the SI5351 at four times the frequency. It divided it by four and essentially produced the quadrature LO signals that fed uh, at the operating frequency, the two ADE1s, which are right here, and here's the uh, two modem transformers. Essentially, I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass this 74AC74 because we don't need it, because the SDR kits will supply that signal, and we'll feed, well, there's two pads here, and we'll feed the LO signals to those two pads. And I'm going to put, I'm going to solder two, um, uh, in this case, I'm going to solder wires to, to uh, uh, two, two wires that will go to the SMA connector, so we'll screw in with an SMA connector, and then the SCDR kits will have a pigtail, in this case a pigtail here, and we'll just solder the two coax connectors there. Right here will be the A, uh, will be the uh, bandpass filter, and you see the four pads for that, and this is the little splitter uh, combiner transformer that we're going to modify, so we're going to put a, a fixed termination on that of 100 ohms. But here's the two ADE1s and the two modems uh, transformers, and we're going to put the relay in here, and we'll probably put a little board extension on that to have uh, the stereo connectors. So you're going to build a board very similar to this, and this is essentially the heart of the uh, SDR transceiver with the two ADE1s and the two modem transformers, and these happen to be the triads that you can spend 
a lot of money for the, uh, the the ones that I recommended that you get. So this is what you'll be uh, building, and ultimately uh, this will all fit in a box. And I'm I'm going to build it only for 40 meters, but you can do kind of a slick thing. You could uh, provide uh, plug-in bandpass uh, filters on that board so you can operate other bands. And then following this will be the J310s. And the J310s are uh, in Cascade. It's a circuit I developed that makes it look like a dual-gate MOSFET. And it is simulated in LT Spice. And uh, so uh, that is uh, steered with a couple of relays. And that will be off-board so that uh, we can... Uh, uh, do those, uh, do those, uh, you know, transfer the signal on RF amplifier on receive, transmit P driver on transmit. So um, uh, then it'll be followed by an, a 2N2219, also simulated in LT Spice and an IR510. So it'll put out a couple of watts, and with those couple of watts, what we'll be able to do is uh, drive a, uh, a bigger power amplifier stage. Uh, band conditions, what they are, you can fool around with QRP or you can put a signal out that you can actually talk to people. I bought one of those uh, uh, kits off of eBay for about $16. It puts out 45 watts and a heat sink was a couple of bucks. So uh, the ultimate configuration will uh, will be the IR510, but it'll be driving uh, most of the time the uh, the linear amplifier stage. So uh, about 20 bucks will give you 45 watts. So uh, that that's a no-brainer. And uh, this orange wire right here is coming off this uh, uh, this board that was sold by Tony Parks is actually keys the the uh, TR and of course it's all solid state switching on this board but we're going to use some relays to do that just to make things simple so uh, that's the importance of the SDR kits is you get in that you get not only the a microcontroller that will talk to the uh, Raspberry Pi but also you get the SI570, so you get the quadrature LO signals to feed that board that I just showed you. Plus you get the uh, TR signals coming out of that so that you can put the thing into transmit. So uh, this is kind of what you're going to end up with. And uh, one of the things that we uh, show in the parts list is uh, I, I showed some uh, USA to USB, uh, USB-A to USB-B cables. And uh, the, the thing is, is you really need to get the shorter cables because the cheaper cables are three feet long and you get wire all over the place. And even here it's wire all over the place. And uh, I, I located a set of StarTech cables made by the same company that makes the StarTech 7.1 sound card. And uh, they, they're selling those for about nine bucks. A little spendy, but uh, that'll sure make things easy. So you could always get the cheaper cables to get it working. And then when you put the ultimate configuration together is uh, shift to the smaller cables. You'll need some one foot long jumper cables and all uh, and those have been detailed uh, already uh, that are being supplied by uh, all electronics. And uh, so uh, we're, we're moving right along but this is what it looks like and I promised I was going to uh, upgrade the um, upgrade the website this morning to include that. There's the SDR. Listen how clean that sounds. Now normally the default is uh, 2.8 kilohertz. And I like to put that down to 2.2. And notice some of this crap off the sides was just digitally filtered right out of there. That guy's S9 plus about 10, 15 dB. So that's a pretty strong signal. There you are with a waterfall. <clears throat> Next week's a little bit busier, but not much more. So we'll say 73 until uh, well, I won't be here tomorrow. We have to go out of the house uh, by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we'll say I'm ch I can change the color of the waterfall. Sometime next week, ME6M, K1VHR. <laughs> Must be in Arizona.
Someone's call, trying to call that K1VHR. You can see you can change the uh, colors of the uh, of the waterfall. The K1 VHR. So anyway, N6QW here. Uh, this is what you're ultimately going to end up with, and we'll be building a board very similar to this, which has the bandpass filter, the splitter, the two ADE ones, ports to take the LO, uh, quadrature LO, the two modem transformers, and uh, a relay in there, some stereo connectors, so we can do the in and out. So this is Pete, uh, N6QW.